in this video we will see how to embed our copilot into the teams channel so for that we need to see what is the authentication level enabled in our copilot so this is my copilot and here in my setting for this copilot if you go to the security here the authentication i have enabled for microsoft so where it enable the authentication in the teams and power apps so this authentic this option of, of authentication when you select then it will be applicable for you to embed your copilot in the teams and the power apps so when you go to your copilot if you see in the channel you will see only the team channel is currently available for your embedding if you want to use other channel like uh, demo website you can see you don't have any options to use custom website you don't have anything to select that is why other options of the channel you cannot use when you are using that authentication in your copilot so before i embed this copilot into the teams let me tell you what i have done in the previous video so that we can test into the teams so in the previous video and under the topic we under the custom we created one topic post application http request where we select what type of operations we want to do on the application we, when i'm trying to do so here i can create retrieve update and delete based on my choice of options selected i will be doing those operations into one of my database table so this is my on this site i have created one table application and under this application i used to insert first name last name and gender for that and used to uh, insert retrieve or update delete i i used to do or uh, used to do those operations onto this table so we will insert the new record on this table when we embed our copilot into the team so from the teams we will do that so this is what we are going to achieve in this video so for that first of all as we have seen the authentication is the um, authentication with microsoft that is the one thing we need to verify for our copilot that we have seen next is we have to go to the teams uh, sorry we have to go to the channels here and then we have to select the microsoft teams because only that channel is enabled for the embedding so we will select this teams channel here microsoft teams and then we have to turn it on so when you turn this on you will see the it will open the line of communication for the channel on the teams and uh, that basically it will add the teams channel into the copilot and for through that the communication will happen with the copilot so i will turn on the teams on this uh, copilot so it might take few seconds to add the channel of the microsoft teams in the copilot Okay, so now it has been added here you will see your copilot is selected and then you can edit some details on that so like if you want to change the color of your copilot you can select it and then you can change it if you want to change the icon of your copilot you can upload it some details of the copilot long and short descriptions of about it then you can enable the copilot for the teams and meeting the chats and those things for the like how the teams it should appear so that thing checkbox you can enable also you will have the more details like who is your developer so i can mention it is on uh, .NET little boy okay so like that you can set it some website privacy teams terms and use automatic it will get added then uh, microsoft authentication id client id it will be there the data URL and app id is important when you it is required when you try to integrate uh, try to use the code on that so it is required so some those information you can find here so you can after doing the changes you can save your copilot basic details then you have to open in the copilot so when you try to open here it will open it will ask you if you have already downloaded the teams app you can embed into the downloaded teams app otherwise you can test in the uh, wave also so i'm just going to show you in the wave here so i'll open in the new wave and here the copilot will not be found because it is added to our team channel here so for that we need to upload our copilot here so for that we need to download so i will go here and we can download the copilot here so we can download this one 
So we have downloaded it. Now we have to upload the Copilot onto the app of the uh, Teams. So we'll go. I will go to the Teams here, then go to the apps here, and then here you will see all the different apps already available. But I want to upload manage my apps here. I'll go to manage your apps and upload an app here. Uh, I will browse the app from my downloaded. So this is just now I have downloaded. Select it and open. So it will add the package here. So now it has been added. So currently your uh, copilot has been added here. So we'll add it. And we'll add here. So we can see that copilot is added now. It has it is giving the welcome message what we have configured. Uh, this welcome message came so like that you can if you want to now here we can see uh, in the copilot here we used to do the adding the new application right then we used to get that topic executed so under this one if we ask this topic related questions then it will trigger this topic so i'm going to ask that i want to to create an application in my system so it will execute that topic. OK, it has executed. So the, after this topic, you can see it's asking this option to select. So I'm uh, going to select create. Then it is asking to enter the first name as it is designed under the create uh, node here. So it is asking enter the first name. So I will enter the first name it is uh, Sandeep, then Sharma, last name, and then gender, it is male. So now, after that, it uh, yeah, my request has been sub submitted. So we are looking into the error. Conversation ID, this one is not found. Why? So if you'll come here, if you'll see, yeah, Sandeep Sarma has been added. This error came because of some conversation ID, but this is something uh, unexpected happened, but it has executed our uh, uh, steps in the copilot here you can see so it has submitted our request and it has uh, made the post call and the new record of the sandeep sarma it has been added here so uh, like that you can configure your copilot into the team channel i hope you understood how to do that and thank you for watching this video guys